Welcome to Field to Fork Cooking with Abby J. Today's program is brought to you in part by Ingalls Supermarkets and the Ingalls Table. Now here's chef and host of the show, Abby J, to introduce her special guest for today's show. Welcome to Field of Fork, I'm Abby J, and it brings me great pleasure to have Ingalls Markets, the event coordinator, Ruby Downs, here on the show Thank today. You. Welcome to the show, Thank Ruby. Thank you so much for having me, Abby. Yeah, you yeah. are in so many capacities. You do so many things, and there's so many upcoming events with Ingalls that you guys may not be aware of. So why don't you <laughs> tell them what's going on now? Oh my goodness, we have so many things happening. Um, first of all, I wanna tell you about SoCon. SoCon will be going down March 2nd through the 6th. Right. And that's going to be a huge basketball tournament. Um, and we are going to be doing the um, um, fun zone up front so you got to come see us there um, and that's in front of the uh, Thomas Wolf when you go into the basketball tournament we're going to be putting down a really awesome floor to have a basketball hoop out there it's going to be super fun for the kids and fun for the whole family it sounds like a lot of fun you know my mother played pro ball and I had so much fun with you tailgating at yes. Furman two weeks ago and it's such a great event to meet all the, mm -hmm. you know, the people that really enjoy basketball and right. just get, getting out and then representing the Ingalls table where we make all this elaborate food. Right. Some of my recipes, I had a bow tie pasta. Yes, it's and amazing. Yeah, we, we just really love doing that right. and letting the, the guests come by, grab one of our magazines, which is wonderful because they can connect to the Ingalls table. Right, and we also are doing um, remotes at specific stores that are coming up and you can sign up to win a family four pack ticket to come to SoCon. Then you'll mm -hmm. be able to come in, see us and have a great time. Well, Ruby, you know, it's cherry blossom, it's springtime. And cherry blossom always reminds me of Megan, Georgia. I know you were there last year, but this year, oh, where are you guys going to be? We're going to be in Conyers this year, and I'm mm -hmm. very excited because, mm -hmm. again, you know, we're going to be having the Ultimate Air Dogs. And if you haven't seen the Ultimate Air Dogs, they are amazing. A bunch of different people bring their dogs out, and we um, jump them. Right. And people have opportunities to win gift cards from Ingalls just for playing along. And um, all the money goes to the charity of their choice, which will be the Walk of Heroes. Awesome. Which is, you know, it's for the veterans. And speaking of charities, I know that event, I watched that last year. It's mm -hmm. so much fun to go and just be there and watching the dogs. Mm -hmm. and especially if you're a dog lover, I just love watching them jump. Yes. It reminds me of Diamond Duke, my dog. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, trying to time. hold him back or whatever. He might not stay put though, uh. because I can't bring him. He'd have to have a leash on. But yeah. anyway, speaking of the other charities, but anyway, you guys get to Conyers for mm -hmm. the Cherry Blossom Yes, Festival. come see us. I'll have a bunch of fun swag there as well. Good. And there's gonna be other fun goody things to do. So. Mm -hmm. You know, you're in a lot of different capacities for Ingalls, and the number one thing is community give back. Mm -hmm. And I see you early in the mornings, like the coat drive. The coat drive. Yes. Yeah. You get up early just am, to do all of these yeah. uh, fun, not fundraisers, but it is giving it's back to the for community. The community. Yeah. Um, usually we, um, for the coat drives and the food drives, we're there. We start up about five o'clock in the mm -hmm. morning. We hit. We hit air and we do our first hits on with the uh, TV stations that we um, affiliate with. And um, you know, a lot of people they go into their closets because um, I—that's the first thing I say. I'm like, go into your closets, get mm -hmm. the things you don't wear, bring them out. Because well, if you know, you're not if, you, if, them, if you had been closer, yeah, I could have made a nice contribution. Well, you still <laughs> <Just> can, <laughs> and I will, I will. And also the tools for school. Yes, that comes up in August, August, right? Yes, we do that for the community as well. We team up with mm -hmm. Evelyn Charities and. Um, we get the school bus out there. We have the mm -hmm. whole uh, the whole setup, and it, it's amazing. The the and again, the community comes out, and the best part is the car show. 
Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. The car show comes out, it's the skull. Um, I've seen Canton. some of those yes, big. They bring uh, the big cars. Yeah, and yes. the big like uh, it looks like a giant truck. Yeah, the it, monster trucks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> those, I I'd have to have a ladder yeah. to get on one of those. Yes, <laughs> the monster trucks come out, and but they all collect all the um, school supplies and mm -hmm. they bring them all out and that makes me feel good because I have a big part of that to make that happen. Well you know what I want to say this you've got a big heart <laughs> you're the right person to do all these wonderful things for Ingalls and you guys need to just stay tuned to mm -hmm. uh, Facebook yeah. Ingalls Markets uh, you can find us on there doing many many things as we uh, represent the Ingalls Table, mm -hmm. Ingalls Markets, and especially giving back to the community. Yes. You have done a great job Thank doing you. that. Thank you. I appreciate and, that. Uh, we're going to make yes. something for you guys. Since it is springtime, St. Patty's Day, we're going to come back and show you what you can do for your friends, and we'll be right back. From all of us at Ingalls, we just want to say thanks so much for your support. Because when you support us, you're supporting hundreds of local farms and businesses in the states we call home. You see, that's where we source as much of our food as possible. From our local dairies, to grass-fed beef, to organic produce, to bakeries just around the corner. We really are one team, and one community. Ingalls, we're with you, every step of the way. Welcome back and we've got a little fun activity. It's a leprechaun board. We've already started it and this is something for St. Patty's Day or anytime you want to just have a really healthy board. So we, we've already got started and what you're going to do is put these cauliflower florets, broccoli florets on the board to make the hat. And what you do, what you want to do is really cut them to where they lay flat like mm -hmm. that. And so the next thing, and Ruby here is gonna help me with this. <laughs> next thing you wanna do is put the olives in. Mm -hmm. We'll do the olives, fill this in like this. And the main thing for the face is some hummus. You yeah. can do different types of hummus, but uh, this is the plain hummus. And then we're gonna do the little, you get a green pepper and you just slice it and you put the little shamrock right there to and, represent. And we'll finish off the hat. That's the hat. And we got we took little cucumber slices to go right above, right below the cauliflower, mm -hmm. and then it and needs can, some eyes. Let's, let's mm -hmm. give it some eyes. Here mm -hmm. we go. We got the cu cucumbers mm -hmm. here, right? With the little eyeballs with the olives. How cute is that? The kids will love this. <laughs> and then we have a cute little nose. And let's just put this down just a yeah. little bit. There you go. And we have the cute little eyebrows mm -hmm. made out of carrots. Cute is How that? cute is that? How fun is this? Yeah, and then we do the little smiley face here. All right. Mm -hmm. And then I took an olive and I just cut it up a little bit to make the little smile. Smile. <laughs> to finish the smile. <laughs> to finish off your smile. And I'll there just put it go. down. He's got yeah. to be, he's gotta be happy. He's, he's very happy. Mm -hmm. There he there. is. Okay, and then after that, what do we got? We the got, rainbow. We, we can do the rainbow. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Here, I'll help you here. with it. Here. Yep. And with the rainbow here. There and one there. And yeah. I think we've we've got this. We Perfect. have our rainbow right Beautiful. here. And next, uh, what do we um, want to do? The, we want to do the beard. So okay. let's take the, the, the carrots. <laughs> yeah. All you have to do, <laughs> just I like to just, just line them up yep. and make the beard just on the side. See this? There we doesn't go. doesn't take long at all. No. And you want to make sure you have there. a little bit. Oops. Of, ooh, <laughs> don't want to mess the face up. Don't mess up that face. There we go. How mm -hmm. fun is this? This is super fun. And the kids would have a great time doing this as well. Just shape it in, in, mm -hmm. in the shape of a right. beard. That's so it's easy. Super cute. Easy, easy. And then the crackers. Let's yeah, get the crackers the and crackers. I'll put some more of these up here. And we'll just take some crackers and line them up next to it. And you can use any kind of crackers you want, really. Right? What are we gonna name him? Um, let's see. Okay, don't you know? What do we want to name? We'll name him Dan. Let's call him Dan. Dan, Dan, Dan the, leprechaun. the Leprechaun. I love that. <laughs> Dan the Leprechaun. Awesome. So, so yeah, you just take the crackers and line them up along the edge. 
All right, go ahead. We'll put some more over here. You can't add too much or not enough. Okay. It's just your preference. And like I said, if you wanted spicy hummus, Ingles has every kind of hummus there is. And if you want to do French onion dip, it's your right. preference of what you like to put on this board. And that's what makes it right. creative. And any kind um, of crackers. And there we have it. I think we're almost finished with this. Yeah. Dan. Dan the I'm, I'm sorry, but somebody's <laughs> going to really look oh at my this. Oh, my goodness. So I have to turn this over. Help me, Ruby. This is the beautiful leprechaun. <laughs> and it's the luck of the Irish. Luck of we that. wish you a very happy St. Patty's Day. Happy spring. And Ruby Downs, oh, yeah. you're amazing. Keep up the good work thank with the Angles Markets. And thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. In small towns like Hayesville, North Carolina, Toccoa, Georgia, and Oak Ridge, Tennessee, big careers starting and staying at home may seem unlikely. But at Ingalls, we promote from within, building a community as well as a business. Our next executive might have helped you carry out your groceries today. We sure hope so. Ingalls, your neighbor for over 50 years. Welcome back to the Field of Fork, and it's entrepreneur time. And guess what? I'm introducing my videographer for one year now, Carson Sprinkles yes. with CLS Films. Yes. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Abby, for having me. Yeah, it's de definitely different being on this side of the camera. So I appreciate yeah. you letting me come on today and talk about my services. So. Well, you still like me, right? I, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> and, and all those services, I, I want you guys to know, Carson is so passionate about what he does. He's won many awards. And also, he made the front uh, cover of the Laurel Magazine last year. He's out in these North Georgia mountains all over the counties, White County, Rayburn. If you need services, Carson's available. Talk about some of your services, Carson. Yeah, so basically with, with my videography services, um, I mainly do weddings, uh, promotional videos, um, uh, music videos, any kind of videos that you need for your service or what you're passionate about. I like to capture any kind of um, videos for you. Um, and also with photography, I do a lot of portraiture work, um, like headshots, um, events, and um, senior portraits, any kind of headshots. I even did some portraits for Miss Abby J here, so. He's gonna do more though. Yes. There's yes. more to come there. That's right, that's right, yes. <laughs> and, and also, being again involved in the community, if, you have, if we're having any kind of community uh, fundraiser event mm -hmm. or anything like that, you're gonna find Carson there. Mm -hmm. So he gives back to the community. Yes. He's a chamber member. Mm -hmm. You're very involved. You yes. also went with me up to Clayton. I just yes. became part of the Rotary Club up there. Mm -hmm. So we're out there very active and that's important too. Yes, community is, is the key to, you know, networking and being being successful in this kind and, of And in trying this kind to of... give back along the way mm -hmm. as you that's help right. others and network with others. Right. And you've done a great job and well, you're you, very Abby. young and, and very very, uh, you've got a long way to go, but yes. you've come a long way yes, in a short period of time. Yes. So, I have, yes. I, thank you for coming on well, my thank show. You. Well, thank you for letting <laughs> Our me come show. in. That's right. That's right. <laughs> anyway. And I can't wait to create more for you. So, well, we're we've got a, a new brand coming. Our logo, everything's yes. changing with us. Uh, it's going to be Abby J's uh, Field of Fork. Uh, cooking and travel and travel so right. we'll be going around mm -hmm. and and really showcasing some of the really great venues of Northeast Georgia and again Carson you're doing a great job and keep it keep it up I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to so so Carson how can the audience find you yeah so the best way uh, to find me is I have my website is clsfilms.net um, you can also look me up on Instagram and Facebook at clsfilms um, and also, uh, my phone number is 706-968-3301. Uh, Absolutely. He's the best. And, you know, we're, we're getting ready to take a road trip, so come with us. This is our travel part of the show, and let's go, Carson. Let's go. we got to go. <laughs> See y'all. Bye. Welcome back, and our travels take us to downtown Clarksville, Georgia, to Southern Seasons Inn. And we're gonna to talk to Melissa McComer and see how her dreams have come true. Let's go. Hey, hey Melissa, how are you? I'm great, how are you? I am Welcome. so happy to be here. Thank it looks you. fabulous. Thank you. Great to have you. And Welcome you. To the end. 
Thank you. Thank you. And L Melissa, tell me how this has made your dreams come true. Well, it's amazing. It's a dream of over 20 some years, you know, that I've always wanted to do a bed and breakfast. And so in 2017, we just took the plunge and we did it. Well, Chose Clarksville and that's the place. Well, I love it. Let's 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 see what you have here okay. because I I just thought it was gorgeous just driving in. Oh well, thank you, thank yeah. you. Well, let's start with the reception room here. This, you know, obviously you came where our guests come in, and then we greet them with this reception area. Nice, here. nice, very yeah. nice. Thank you. This is kind of where that some guests will just linger and sometimes wait for others while they're going out for the evening or the day. So this is this is a great place, and we've actually have a had a have had a concert pianist come, and he did tickle the ivories for us at one of his stays. So that was wonderful. Well, Habersham County is so lucky to have you. Did Thank you know you. that? Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, we feel blessed to be here too. So well, I know my fishermen. They've been here. The couples have loved it, and I know you've had repeat, right? Yes, we have. It, we opened in October two thousand nineteen. And we have even had guests that have stayed with us six and seven times. Melissa, everything's so well appointed, decorated, just the color schemes are just beautiful. Did you do all of this? I did. I did. Every probably nook and cranny has either my, my fingerprints or Kevin's fingerprints on it. But the interior design is all me. Over two years of work, right? Yes, yes. So yeah. you started when? We started in October. We purchased the property in September 2017, and then we opened the doors October 1st, 2019. So, so right before COVID. Right before COVID, yeah. How is that? Uh, how have you managed? I know you're still here, and it looks gorgeous, and you've got lots of repeats. So yeah. it, did you get through pretty good? Yeah, we did. You know, in some ways it was great. It was a great way for us to just put our feet in the sand a little at a time. And we opened in October 2019, had welcome guests, and then obviously like a lot of lodging closed down at the onset of COVID for a couple of months. And that just, you know, gave us time to work on the property still. And then as we launched back open a little at a time, we've tempered our way back into it. And now we're full to go so well, I'm ready to see this place okay. Let's well let me show you our favorite room okay awesome okay. awesome so <clears throat> Abby this is a uh, southern seasons in so each of the rooms are around a season and this particularly is our summer room as you can see our summer how room. smart is that well, I mean you know you've got uh, a season for everyone I mean yeah yeah really <laughs> well when you dream about something for 20 some years you dream about every single little detail so right you know kind of worked against us or for us because it took me a while to make decisions but well tell me you know you said you dream about it what why did you want to do this? Kevin and I um, traveled and we enjoyed bed and breakfast lodging, BC, before children, I call it. Mm -hmm. And then we had our kids and that wasn't the, you know, the kind of lodging that we took advantage of. But as we did that and had that experience, and then I was born and raised in an Italian family nice. and all nice. around people and mm -hmm. hospitable and stuff. Um, I thought one day I'd love to do that. That just seems I love people. Um, I love to hear everybody has a story. I just well, you're very that. warm and engaging, Thank and you. I know they must love you here. Thank you. Well, I love our guests too, and we have developed wonderful friendships. Mm -hmm. We say they come in as guests, um, and during their stay, they're friends, and then as they leave, they're our family. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I this is this room here reminds me of summer. All you need is some fresh flowers every day in I here. I know. I know. I do have some for our guests that are checking in later this afternoon. But um, yeah, and the outside patio, we have some wind today. But this is our great spot. Our guests just love to come here, and it's mm -hmm. close to the door. They slip in and out, and it's very spacious and have some private veranda time too so well this is this is beautiful let's go see okay. what else okay okay, okay. Uh -huh. well let me show you the rest of the house okay this is our common area as well and this is just a hallway where our guests get to enjoy um, we like to have private sitting areas where guests can linger privately or as right. couples a library for our guests to enjoy there's lots of diversified books there if they want to catch some moments reading awesome I love yeah. to read and we do have an outside uh, porch there um, and then we have another 
area here for them to just sit and enjoy. And then obviously here, here's our here's our hot spot where everyone gets to congregate together or and meet privately. other people. Yes. I love uh, yes. engaging with new people yeah. and getting to know them. You always learn something, right? Right. Yeah. And that has happened. We have had guests that have come together as groups and we've had guests that have come individually and then they've um, fostered friendships thereafter so it's been wonderful there's a lot of conversation that these walls hold so right right yeah. I, I really compliment you and and all your everything about this uh, we almost uh, decided to do a and b but we uh, took a fly fishing lesson in Maine and fell in love with the fly fishing. So we turned Blackhawk into fly fishing, and you've got the perfect B&B for it. Well, yeah, well, thank you. Thank you. I'd love to, you know, partner with you. I mean, I, we do enjoy, we have had a guest that have enjoyed fly fishing as well. They've come up to enjoy the um, venturous activities here in Habersham County. So All the hiking, the, you know, all the different festivals, and we have so many wineries. Yes, and that is one of our favorites among our guests too is the different wineries the different hiking the fly fishing I mean there's so much to see up here as a as a new resident we've had been exploring ourselves you know right well I've heard you're quite the chef here I try I do I am the chef I'm the chef on board so mm -hmm. if you don't like it it's I'm responsible for that so well, I bet it's all good let's see your kitchen okay well this is this is the um chef's kitchen that we actually added onto the property and we designed it and this is where Beautiful. this is where as Kevin would say the magic happens every morning I'm gonna have to leave the house and just come say, stay with you <laughs> to get away from well, my I, business I, well, I would love to have you love to have you uh, I love to be in the kitchen it's just my safe haven I just it's my sanctuary. You I know, it. people do so much uh, better at what they do if they enjoy what they're doing. Right. That is so true for anyone trying to get into a business right. is do what you love to do and it's not work, right? Right. And that's what I've told my kids. You know, we have two kids, 30 and 27. You know, figure out what your passion is and then decide, figure out a way to make money at it. But I mean, just do what you love to do. Yeah. So exactly. there's more though, right? This yeah. is just one kitchen. This is just one kitchen. This is my kitchen. This is the, as Kevin says, the no touch kitchen. But let me show you the kitchen that our guests get to enjoy. That's Abby's kitchen. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> we do have a pro we do have this um, table right here, the kitchen table, where sometimes we do dine um, if we have one couple or something. Right, right. Because it has a beautiful view. Um, so this is this is one table that we can provide it's breakfast service. It's open air, and this is so beautiful out mm -hmm. here. Yeah, and you get every season you get to have a different view. And then as you see behind us, this is the 1901 kitchen. This is the original kitchen of the house that we didn't, we wanted to keep the integrity of the house. So, so this was the Asbury house, right? Yes, it yes. started like that. And then it's been on the National Register since uh 1901, right? 1901. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then, um, but our guests can enjoy things here. We have a refrigerator that's uh, stocked with beverages, um, cold beverages for them to enjoy. If they go out and enjoy a meal and don't finish or want to bring a special dessert, they're welcome to, you know, keep some keepsakes in there for them. And then there's coffee, and it's just to make them feel at home. Well, I know I love to porch sit, and I know you have a perfect spot for that, right? I do. I do. We have a beautiful, what well, historic home doesn't have a big porch, and that was one of my attractions to this house, too, a wraparound porch. So our, there's been a lot of conversations out there, too. You know, it's great to have a nice porch, and uh, it reminds me of growing up, uh, just sitting out on the porch. But let's see the dining room. Okay, come on All in right. here. This is, a, this is one of my favorite rooms. This is where fr friendships and relationships flourish as well, and this is the dining room. This is where we do a lot of our um, guest breakfast service, larger groups. Um, we do, um, you know, the chef selection breakfast service for each of our lodging guests. So, so there are other um, things you do if a, a couple or a group, a family or mm -hmm. a wedding family, you, you do host wedding families, I'm sure. You do more dinners if, if they ask or, or if they 
you know, want that service, you provide that, right? We can. Uh, Pre-arrange, you know, every time a, a guest makes a reservation with us, I reach out to them, um, appreciate their opportunity, of giving us the opportunity to host them and see what they're, what they're coming into town for, kind of to build that relationship and give some guidance. And then mm -hmm. if there are di specific dining requests that they have above and beyond the chef selection breakfast that they Get provided with their lodging stay we can work that if we've done everything from maybe a, a an afternoon snack you know we do a romance package that includes anything from fruit to a charcuterie board and stuff like mm -hmm. that and then we have as you mentioned i have hosted private dinners we are able to host private dinners for those who have purchased a lodging experience with us. And um, that has been fun. That has been fun. Well, you're making all these dreams come true for your guests well, as I, well. Yeah. And it shows with everything that you're offering here, and uh, I love it. Yeah. Well, thank you, Abby. It has been literally a dream come true. And when people say, is it what you expected, it's way more. We, our guests become our family, as I shared with you, and even when we previously when the weather wasn't very welcoming to us and we had those storms and stuff I had so many of our guests texting us seeing if we were okay it's just wonderful it's just yeah it's a, a you know being in a small town we have uh, wonderful neighbors and and they become like your best friends too because this is small but it, it really everybody's helping each other in the community right and that yeah. was one of the attractions that we had to Clarksville and we thought that this was a good fit the property was a good fit it, it just married well with what we wanted so Melissa thank you so much for sharing your beautiful bed and breakfast with us and I'm so glad that we have this in Habersham County to invite everybody up to North Georgia well thank you Abby I appreciate having you here now you're a part of our in family you've come in and visited with us and enjoyed the property and it's been great meeting you and having you here, too. So tell the audience how they can find you. Okay. Well, we have a website, southernseasonsin.com. As well as that, we have a Facebook page and an Instagram page under the same name, southernseasonsin.com. Com. And then you can also reach out to us, 706-754-0040. And we'd love to host anyone that would feel comfortable here well it's almost spring you guys so escape to the mountains we're ready for you with so many wonderful things and places to visit and thank you so much you're welcome abby wow i am so glad i got to come here today southern seasons in make it a point this spring to get up here in the north georgia mountains it's going to be beautiful i want to thank my guests today for joining us here at Field of Fork, Ruby Downs from Ingalls Markets, Carson Sprinkle from CLS Films, and Melissa Mahomer from Southern Seasons Inn. We hope you have a fabulous spring and get outside, enjoy, and be happy. Thanks so much for joining us for today's program. We look forward to having you back next time on Field to Fork Cooking with Abby J. This program is brought to you in part by Ingalls Supermarkets and the Ingalls Table.